Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about gear room resolution. We've talked about this before, but when I start to hear on my calls every uh, morning, when I start to hear a lot of confusion with this and, and people not really understanding the relationship, it, it tells me that it's time to do another video. So let's walk through some of the steps here. I'm going to come at this from a different direction. I hope this approach helps. I'm going to keep trying. It's like uh, people in the horse business, uh, a lot of horses around where, where I'm staying and a lot of people in the horse business racing and raising and, and all of that. And they call it taking a different tack. You know, you, you get the horse to do something different, I, I think is the meaning behind the word tack. But we're going to take a different tack here. So gear resolution, great progress, wonderful progress. I, I tell people I've been out of this gear game for a long time because I've been running a company and building a company. Some days I wish I was back <laughs> with just gear, but it's the way things go. It's the way life evolves. So the resolution on gear is amazing. I can't believe I've been probably away from it for 15, 20 years. The amplifier resolution. I, I don't notice a big difference in amplifier resolution. And we've had two or three different solid states and tube amps here in, in the in the studio to test. Cable resolution, uh, the um, digital electronics, the DACs and the processors, really wonderful uh, progress on those. Speakers, amps, cables, but we forget this. Nobody talks about that. Really, why wouldn't you talk about something that probably contributes to more than 50% of what you hear? I still can't understand it. And to be honest with you, I won't understand it because it's not, it's not the correct way to think. It really isn't. It's a waste of time and a waste of money. If you don't consider a variable in the process that accounts for over 50% of what you hear, it makes no sense. The electronics are all linked together through cables, right? Interconnects. So there's a synergy of components. Some cables like some amplifiers. We put some new cables in our uh, multiple channel facility. The person who sold us the cables called the speaker manufacturer, or sorry, called the amplifier manufacturer to make sure the speaker cables I was selecting were compatible with the amplifier. Makes sense. Compatibility, they're all linked together. And I thought, wow, what care and attention to detail to make sure that the components are working together. Why don't we have that care and detail in room treatment that accounts for more than 50% of what you hear? I don't know, but we got to change it. The, the components are all da daisy chained together, and the goal is to, to put them together, the ones that like to talk to each other and don't create a lot of you know problems, distortions. Well, the the room is an analog treatment, and it requires that kind of same connectivity, synergy, if you will. You have to connect all the three parts of the room. Actually, we have the major parts are pressure and reflections, right? We all know that. We've talked about that for years and years and years. Now, from that stems the highs, the mids, and the lows. The lows are pressure and these are reflections. So that's the basic outline of what we're trying to do here. We have amplifiers, we have speakers, we have interconnects between the preamp and the amp, we have internet connects between processors and amplifiers. So all the distortion in these components, if you will, have to be resolved so they work together. Think of room dimensions as the interconnect. The width, the height, and the length all must work together to produce less distortion. So that's the big benefit of a new build because you can control those variables. Retrofits existing rooms you can't. You have to achieve the highest resolution that you can get based on the room dimensions and usage, really based upon what they're going to, how much energy they're going to put in the room. That's usage. I mean, a better way to say usage would be, what are you going to do in the room? How much energy are you going to put in the room? Because the room only sees energy. It could care less how it's produced. And it could care less from which manufacturer, by the way. Okay. 
So the room dimensions are the interconnect. We still have the pressure and the reflection, but we got all those room variables that we must treat, the lows, the mids, and the highs. And we must treat the lows because they cause all the other issues. So that has to be our top priority. But we have to treat the components of the room in the same manner that we treat the components of our gear. It just makes sense, right? I see people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars in gear. I saw a gentleman the other day, 240,000 in gear. And you know what he did? He put it in a room that was 11 foot, seven foot ceiling height and 13 foot length. And the speakers were six feet high. What's he doing to himself? What's he doing to his 230K investment? How much of that 230K, divide that maybe by 100 watts, so it's $23, 2300 maybe, a watt? I don't know. Is he gonna realize that kind of return on his investment? Think about it in a business framework. When the variable you're not considering impacts the equation more than 50%, you're gonna lose. You have to lose. You have no choice. You started out wrong. The odds are so against you. If you were a betting person and these were your odds, you're not gonna do it, you know? So, you got to watch this room. It's really, really critical. So if you're starting out new, which most aren't, you have an existing system, which most do, don't be buying new gear. Fix the problems in the room. I see it time and time again where people end up keeping their old gear when they fix their old room. And that's how it needs to be because of this variable here. We can argue all day long about how much the room contributes. It doesn't make any difference. It's huge. And if it's a huge variable in the equation of success, you must address it. You just have to. Gear and room resolution. Start thinking about those in the same way. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.